84 million, no, 84 billion, 84 billion pounds of unclaimed money for property investors. So there's 84 billion of unclaimed, that's unclaimed. So can you imagine how much money is available for you to get as a property investor? This is just off the charts. You know, when I discovered this, and that's, that's, by the way, that's why you have gotta be part of communities who are always bringing the latest experts to you because you don't know anything. I don't know anything. I don't, they say I don't know everything. I don't know anything. Yeah, I, I, I gotta bring that. I gotta have the experts around me. So we bring the experts in and they're telling us about the capital allowance for commercial properties. But some people, they might be like, oh yeah, but commercial properties, I'm not gonna be into commercial properties. Do you know what comes under that banner? 84 billion of unclaimed. That tells me that there's huge amounts, probably twice that, that is being claimed. People don't understand this because it's not coming to you straight away. So let me explain and break this down. What is even capital allowance by? Capital allowance means that, you know when your, your company starts making money, like you start renting out your properties or you sell properties or whatever it is, you now are gonna start paying 19% corporation tax on any profit that you make. Yeah, but a capital allowance, what it does, it like, you know, like an employee, right? An employee can, like, if you look at your pay slips, if you put, you know, it'll say so much of your money, you're not paying any tax on it because you get like 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, whatever it is, allowance tax free. So a capital allowance is like that. But we're not talking about 9,000, we're talking about lots of money. On service accommodation, yeah, anything to do with social housing, so any contract where you can go and get a social housing uh, firm, company, uh, assisted living, all of this stuff in there, then they will give you 30% of the purchase price. Now wait, because there's a clincher here, because people are like, oh yeah, but I'm not buying properties. I'm gonna tell you guys what to do as well. The ones that are not buying the properties as of yet, and you might be doing something else. Yeah, so the clincher here is, okay, 30%, uh, but then if I'm gonna spend money on it to turn it into a refurb uh, of any type, then I can claim from 50 up to 75%. <laughs> this is insane, can you believe this? 50 to 75% of the refurb as capital allowance. So that means I'm making more money. So one of my, um, one of my guys in our partner program, yeah, right now he's buying four houses, gonna be for service accommodation. The collective value is about 1.2 million. There's a four houses he's going for, 1.2 million. That means, that just on the purchase of 1.2 million, yeah, he's now got 360,000 pounds worth of profit, not income, worth of, because now he's got his other expenses, right? Paying his team, living the life of luxury. He goes researching properties all over the world and all over the country, you know, to make it happen. And then, you know, so that's all expenses anyway. So now we can make £360,000 worth. That's before we even start including any refurb money. Is this crazy? Could you imagine £360,000 of tax-free money? Guys, you've got to start getting these strategies deployed, employed, whatever you want to call it, right? And the capital allowance is not going to show up and you just have 360000 It comes from you going out there and utilising the tax incentives that the government, yes, the government are literally giving people. They want you to do commercial property. Yeah, they want you to do shops. They want you to do offices. They want you to do all of that. They want me to build hotels and resorts all over the world. That's why they're gonna give me all this capital allowance. Here's another strategy, rent to rent. And I'm not talking about HMOs because, you know, we're advised, you know, our top level, you know, experts, they say there's not really too much, there is, you can get some capital allowance for the HMOs, but it's not really, really worth pursuing. Yeah, so, service accommodation though, so rent to service accommodation, that absolutely is relevant, and I'll tell you why. Because there's going to be um, landlords out there that are in pain, right? Why are they in pain? That's the only reason they're gonna rent their property out to you anyway. So you can give them a guaranteed rent and then you're gonna make your money on top. But now if you go to them with this ace, you're gonna pull out your sleeve, this ace, which is like, hey, Mr. Landlord, 
Not only will I take your property and give you a guaranteed rent, but I'm gonna hook you up with my expert who is gonna enable you to get 30% capital allowance on your purchase and any then uh, refurb they do. This way, this way, now, as, as someone wanting to take on their property and use it as service accommodation, rent to service accommodation, they pay for the refurb. Why? Because when they pay for the refurb, they can then claim another 50 to 75% of capital allowance on that refurb. So all of the money that you're paying them as a guaranteed rent and they're making profit, no tax to pay, baby. And this can be, there's no backdated limit right now. You can go back as far as what's required and you can carry it forward as well. So the, for many years, to come people will be having tax-free incomes perfectly legitimate legal and actually is incentivized by the government on other people's channels they're not telling you the expert inside stuff like this it's just surface level fluff so subscribe to the channel because we're going to be coming thick and fast we're changing the industry baby that's what we're doing we are creating the next generation of multi, multi millionaires. In fact, at last event, we got a 17 year old kid ready to make 50K from one deal. That's what you're gonna get from subscribing to this. Get the knowledge, get the mindset, take the action. We'll see you again soon sometime. Until then, do the right thing for the right reason because it's the only way you're gonna discover your true potential.